Hey there, uh, it's Patty Sampson. How are you? Coming to you from my little RV that I've been living in for a year because we're having a house built. So just ignore the background. Thanks. Um, somebody asked online about how to insert a photograph. So I thought I would just um, run by how to do it. You know, what the heck? Might as well show you. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it within your um, within your profile uh, on your signature because that seems to be the first thing people want to do. Uh, I think the easiest way to get started is frankly just to go over to documents. Okay, so you're on your profile tab and you want to add it to your image to here. Now it's almost the same when you get into an email. You're going to do pretty much the same thing. But go over to your documents tab to get started. Okay, so you go over to your documents tab and then you can add a folder here if you want for photos, which I've already done. So um, you have a folder there, right? And then you're going to go over here and you want to pick the folder that you want to put it in if you've got different folders for different things and then you're going to click on this thing here this little blue button and you're going to go identify an image you want to add so i'll just go over here images for marketing and i'll put a button here and say i want to add that um, so i've now added that image so i'm going to head over to where the images are over here and i put it in the photos and logos i believe and um let's see that was the contact today button that i had so i'm going to click on that now once I get to it, it's right here, I'm going to go up to the URL and copy it. This to me is just the easiest way. There may be another way, but this is how I do it. <laughs> so I've copied it, right? So now I'm going to go back over to um, Lion Desk and go up to my profile. If I'm going to add it to my signature line, I'm going to go to my profile and I'm going to go down to the signature line. Now what I have noticed from training other people, I'm on a Windows. I've noticed that people with Macs, um, this is a little more challenging for some crazy reason. Sometimes it doesn't work very smoothly and I don't know the answer to it. But if you click edit right here, you're going to get a box that you're going to be able to put information in. If you're copying and pasting, say from pulling it from your Gmail account, just copying it from somewhere and trying to bring it in, um, then you want to make sure that you follow the instructions here when you do the copy because sometimes just just hitting the paste doesn't work. Um, I use control V. I usually will just go control V, right? So um, that works. So put the cursor where you want the photo to go within here. If you haven't already created your thing, uh, your signature line, then of course you need to create that. And like I said, copying and pasting works pretty well. But as far as the image goes, put the cursor where you want it and then go over to here. This is image. You're going to click on image and you're going to get the URL from that and pop it in here. And then um, I hit the tab and it will usually pull in a size. I have found one, it depends on the shape of the picture, but I have found 100 by 40, well by 100, if you just put that in, it'll auto size it and then I go OK and it'll fill it in. And if I think I want it bigger, I'll click back on it and go back over to the image and then go, OK, well maybe I need a little bit wider, so I might make it wider and hit OK. Now it looks kind of funky, so I probably won't do that. I'm going to go back. So you might just need to test it. It's just a matter of the size of your photo. So let's try 150. You can kind of see a changing size here. So I'm not loving any of that. So it just depends on the size of your photo. So I'll probably just leave it like that. Okay. Now when you're done, it's going to be really key that you hit save signature because <laughs> it won't stick. All right. So make sure that you do that. Um, but anyway, other, otherwise, that's exactly how you do it. Um, I know, like I said, some of the issues occur with the copying and pasting part if you're copying from somewhere else. So try um, following the instructions by, and, and I know, like, I think there's a command C or something like that in a Mac. I've just trained a whole bunch of people that it just was having challenges. At some points, I've had to get in there and do it for them because it, for whatever reason, we couldn't get it to copy. And I, I don't know what was happening. But uh, do, do make sure you hit Save Signature. Now, as far as um, putting it in an email, I'm just not even going to save this. So I'm going over to Marketing right now. When, as far as putting it in an email that you want to create an email template for and just add it in there um, for an image, email template, not text template, Patty. Okay, email template. It's exactly the same, you know. So you've, you've gone over and you've already added it over here, right? So now I'm going to add a photograph. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to plug in that URL and um, make sure that that width is what you want it to be. And already, I think from my own experience, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. Um, have no idea why it went to 99 there. That's pretty funny. 
but it, it, it's doing what it feels it needs to do, right? And so um, there it is, it's there, so you can add it. Um, I've also noticed that if you share campaigns from your account, because this happened to me where I'm you know, selling and sharing cam drip campaigns, which by the way, I do offer, and you can search for all of that within the Lion Desk Auto Drip Campaign tab, which I'll show you here in a minute, um, that the photos don't come through because they're in my account. I've noticed that because I had flyers that were in some of these emails and they didn't come through. So um, if you're sharing them with your team members and things, just be aware of that because uh, I don't think they share across party lines, okay? <laughs> Now, um, the other thing uh, as far as that goes, if you're interested at all in campaigns, you can see all of the campaigns that I have by coming over here and typing my name in, Patty with an I, okay? So I'm not going to do it because if I do it right now, uh, all my codes are going to be shown. And I do make my living um, helping people with their drip campaigns and setup of Lion Dust. So if you have an interest, just reach out to me and you can reach out to me or learn more at exposedagent.com. And um, again, this is, I'm not an, uh, I'm not, I don't work for Lion Desk. I'm a preferred provider. Um, and I'm just an agent helping agents. Uh, and that's been my business now pretty significantly over the last six months. And um, it's, it's wonderful. I love helping people. But you can come down here and learn more about my campaigns. My site's getting ready to roll out, so I'm really excited about that. And I also have a members group here if you're interested at all in finding out about how to just get monthly group training if you don't want the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but I would suggest do a one-on-one -on -one with me and then come down here and, and, uh, and head, uh, head into the members group because I think you're going to find a lot of help. We're, we're doing lots of trainings and we're getting ready to to uh, you know really kick it up so I'm excited for 2018 but anyway thanks hope this video helped um, you can also go over to uh, Facebook uh, and um, like our same page it's exposed agent digital marketing you can find it over there I don't think I have it up and I got a bunch of messages coming in there so anyway thanks so much I hope this helped have a great day bye bye